There it goes! Good luck, girls! Have fun on your camping trip! Looks like the Marauders are eating good tonight! Oh my gosh, they're cannibals! Take them down, girls! Fight! He's, here he comes. He's got to get through the doors first. It won't take me long to break this down, you know. Michael. <laughs> Michael, you're a fool! All right, survivors, welcome back to Shelter. Let us hop down into the bunker with the Punchwood family and pick up where we left off. We have survived so far for 133 days. Not too shabby. And I think we are pretty much at the end of the road here, my friends. We've done just about everything that this game has to offer. Particularly now that the camper van is complete. All the parts have been installed. And it is functional. So I think today what we'll do is set up an expedition. And we'll take the camper van into town. Go do some scavenging and some scrounging for some supplies. And in the meantime... We were going to do some upgrades out here, right? A water filter, and I think the generator. And then we're going to craft up the last few items that we do not have yet. Like maybe this jukebox. Maybe the new shower and the efficient toilet. Uh, the water condenser. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty much done here. Other than building a few things. I would like to um, conclude this series and give it some closure. <laughs> Everybody's happy, healthy. We've got uh, all the facilities we need pretty much with the exception of those few items that I just pointed out. Uh, but right now, let's have... How about... Where's Sarah? Sarah, go put your suit on. We're going to send you out there, girl. Out into the wasteland and upgrade and fix our water filter at the same time. In the meantime... Hey, Chris, why don't you go train on the punching bag? And Mama Ruski, you're way the heck up there, huh? All right, Dad, you're down here. Go plant some seeds, please. I think we have some seeds. We put them in the planter. And we can get some more food in our pantry. We've got 16 frozen meats in the freezer. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking mighty fine here, guys. Um, I mean, what? Oh, it's day 134. Uh, I mean, we could potentially just continue to play. Um, expand our shelter here and add more space and more rooms and more people and yada 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 but I, I just don't think it's worth it since we've done pretty much all of that already so we are after the decontamination upgrade 3 which increases the rate at which the water filter filters out contaminated water by 75% wow that's nice okay get out there Sarah and go do that for us please and while you're out there, you can fix up the water filter. And looks like the solar panel needs to be fixed up, too. All right, Dad. Daddy-o. Since you've just planted the seeds, you might want to water them, too. They grow better that way. There you go. The other thing I'm hoping for is to be attacked here in the base. We've never been raided, and that's something I would like to experience with you guys. <laughs> I mean, we set up all of these... Oh, oh we got a tinkerer! Tinkerer! Achievement, pretty cool. Uh, we set up all of these defenses, right? We've got the shotgun trap, the spike trap up here, and uh, we actually have three traps. Oh, yeah, and the paint can trap. <laughs> and we got the hidey holes as well to hide the weak so they don't fight. Apparently, they do fight back now, which is fantastic. Sarah. Sarah's going to go to bed with the uh, suit on. No, no, no. Take that off. And Chris, clean the place up. I see dog mess up here with some flies flying around it. And here comes the black rain, but that's okay because we have a new water filter that's going to be filtering out 75% of that contamination. But guess what, Sarah? You didn't fix it at the same time. She came in too soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, Diane, can you go please? Um, whoops. Yeah, we're going to actually upgrade this, but we're going to add fuel right now. I mean, even Wilson knows that it needs fuel. Except he doesn't have any opposable thumbs, so it'd be awfully hard to take the gas cap off. There we go. Good girl. And the other upgrade I wanted to do was this over here. So, Diane, if you would be so kind as to upgrade our generator to... Is this the one? Yes, efficiency upgrade 2. Increases the fuel use efficiency by 20%. It'll make our little gas last longer. Six motors... Eight surrogate boards, ten fuses. There we go. Oh, man. Here come some peoples. Who are they? We've got Jessica. 
and Steven. We got Chris out there. <laughs> Hopefully they don't attack the kid. He just waltzes right by them. He doesn't care. <laughs> Stranger danger! Didn't I teach you that, Chris? Here they come. They're coming down. They just want to trade or something. Maybe they're looking for uh, shelter. We're not taking them in. Not taking anybody in. It's just us. Just the family members. Intercom. Hello in there. Would you happen to need anything? I found a bunch of stuff that I have no use for, says Steven. Sure, Steven. What you got? All right, Steven. We'll take your metal, your switch, your wool, your circuit board, and three fuses for one teddy bear and one book. It's a deal. We have a surplus of teddy bears and books. <laughs> they do make great trade items. Close that door, Chris. I don't trust those people. I don't trust anyone out here in the apocalypse. So, we've got some stuff being recycled here. Oh, is it done? Oh, it's done. Good, 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 good. Oh, this is fantastic because now we can make a few more upgrades and I wanted to see what we had here. So, we've got some rubber. We definitely need the rubber. Wires are good. The metal hinge. Yeah, collect it all. And, Mom, since you're right there, can you fix that thing, please? So now let's see what we can actually craft up with all the items that we now have. I really want this jukebox. We have a few albums, and we'd love to get some music playing here in the shelter. That will calm everybody's nerves and entertain us, and we can dance and sing and have a good time. Unfortunately, we need two more switches, so I think we're going to have to make a run to a hardware store. And maybe that's what we'll do next. We'll set up an expedition. We could use some pipes too for the water condenser. Oh, we need a sculpture too. See, now we just need things that make us happy. Now that we have the basic necessities, we just need things that'll make us smile now so we can forget the fact that we live in a stinky, moldy bunker underground and uh, everybody out in the world wants to kill us, essentially. But uh, other than that, everything's fantastic. Just dandy. Let's put a light bulb over here in the work area. And Daddy O's gonna do that. Alright, guys, it's now day 135, around noon. Let's set up an expedition. And we'll send uh, let's send the two sisters, the two big sisters, Diane and Barbara, the adopted sisters, I should say. They're the toughest in the family. And they deserve a uh, a camping trip to town. Um, they're gonna bring Wilson, of course, and here is the van cycle. Oh, check it out. Cool. Vehicle van. And it requires petrol, obviously. So, where should we go? We haven't been over in this direction in a while. 60-ish days to Baythorpe. 25-ish down to Brookboro. This is the... Looks like the Matriarch's territory over here. Brookboro. Yeah, let's go to Baythorpe. We're going to head to Baythorpe. We're going to hit the mine first and maybe get some rocks and pipes, I think, potentially, from the mine so we can make that statue and we need the pipes for uh, the water condenser. Let's hit, uh, we'll hit a house. We'll go to the school. We should probably hit the petrol station. And then I wanted to head out farther west to these uh, question marks, all these unknown areas. And Stop by the super impatient guy here by the mountains. That's a pretty long trek, but with the vehicle, it reduces the amount of water we need. Uh, but we do have to use petrol, of course. But they'll be able to travel much faster, is my guess, in the camper van. I don't know. I've never tried it before. That's the route. Now I have to equip them. I'm assuming we still need gas masks and stuff like that, right? Whoops. Uh, equip it. Get rid of that, please. Oh, now this is interesting. It won't allow me to equip the rucksack. So I'm assuming we have storage in the camper van, which makes sense. I was hoping it would work that way. Maybe we have a lot more storage than a pair of rucksacks. And we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna give Diane her favorite, um, she likes a shotgun, right? Pretty sure. And lots and lots of ammo. We're not taking any chances. Flashbang, pipe bomb. <laughs> We're going loaded for bear. 
And I think that's it for Diane. Looking good, Diane. Okay, next. Barbara likes her rifle. So Barbara's got the rifle, gas mask, good bulletproof vest, and 14 rounds of ammunition for the rifle. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Yes, send them. And there they go. Good luck, girls. Remember, don't take any crazy risks. And call in when you find stuff. And I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens with this van now. Do they walk over to the van and get in and drive it? Doesn't anybody want to go outside and watch this? This is so cool. Yeah, looks like Barbara's heading over to the van. <laughs> this is great. Oh, she just hopped in. Here comes Diane. And who's driving? Oh, it looks like Barbara's driving. She got there first. Here it goes. Here it goes. Good luck, girls. Have fun on your camping trip. Remember your trading. Oh, look at that thing. It is shaking and rocking and... Oh, man. I don't think it's going to make it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Grease Monkey. You got an achievement because we're Grease Monkeys. I guess because we fixed the van. Wow, look how far they've gone already. <laughs> In just like 10 seconds. That's pretty good. All right, now we just wait for the phone calls. Sarah's checking the shotgun. She's having a bad feeling about this. The two, with her two sisters gone, the toughest in the group. She wants to make sure the shotgun's loaded. Hi, it's Barbara. It looks like this is found... Yeah, okay, check it out, Barbara. Wow, in the mine? And look at all the space, 52. I think you have 36 with two big backpacks, I think. So that's nice. All right, and we have stuff that we actually want, like wires, rubber, and gas masks? Rocks. Oh, this is great. Yeah, grab it all, grab it all, grab it all. Grab it all and go, girls. All right, now we just wait. We wait for the girls to get in a fight, or we wait to get raided. Still want to get raided because it hasn't happened yet. Stumbled across a medium house. Yeah, sure. Man, they're cruising. They're already at Baythorpe. Oh, the Marauders. It's the Marauders. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. You know, in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have sent our two toughest out of the shelter at the same time in case we do get raided. Who the heck's going to fight? Eric's kind of tough. Sarah's kind of tough. I don't know about dad and mom, though. Well, I know mom's not. Hi, it's Diane. We're at the house. Okay, great. Uh, wow. Ooh, a new album. Yeah, grab it. You know, we just take it all. We've got the space. Sort it all out later. Drop stuff we don't need or trade it away. Sarah's going to go work out right now because she's very concerned with her two sisters away. And so is Chris. They both know. Their mom and dad. <laughs> they can't protect us. That's what they're thinking. <laughs> Eric, water the plants, man. All right, let's check the, uh, the radio. Stumble across the church. Yeah, sure, why not? Check it all. And here, oh, here we go. Sarah, you want to get the radio? Nope, she doesn't want to know anything. Yeah, nobody here. This is so weird. Maybe those marauders are just keeping everybody away, but where the heck are the marauders? What's our pantry looking? 45. Yeah, guys, we're pretty good with everything, like water and food. We don't really want for much, other than a little bit of entertainment. They're at the school, search the location. We're bound to run into some people sooner or later. Day 136. I'm going to get Dad on the uh, training over here. we got to keep people training. Maybe I'll make another bag, actually. Hey, Mom, what's it take to make a sack? Oh, wait a minute. Hold that thought. <laughs> They're at the school. Nobody here. Look at all the goodies. Take it all. Take it all. Leather, rope, and wool. Yeah, make another punch bag, mama. Oh, that was fast. Let's put that down. All right, then put it down here. Go. I got the radio. Uh, petrol station. Yes, we're going to need gas for the vehicle. And obviously gas for the generator here. Heavy dust storm on the surface. Got another punching bag coming up. Dad, now that you beat the pus out of it, where are you going? I want him to fix it. Let's get that radio. Aha! They found someone at the small petrol station. They're signaling to them. 
Well, they've seen you, so you just gotta go in. See what's up. Hopefully they're friendly. Oh my gosh, this guy's got blood all over his bib. And they have hockey masks. Jason hockey masks. Spiked shoulders. And hatchets. They do not look friendly, do they? These must be the marauders. What do we have here? Says Jeffrey. Confirmed. Just a traveler trying to take in what's left of nature and on a little camping trip with my sister. A fresh good supply right for the taking. Looks like the marauders are eating good tonight. Oh my gosh, they're cannibals. Take them down, girls. Fight. Take them down. We can't leave these people around. Attack. No, shoot. All right. Um, subdue. We can do a single shot or empty the clip. I'm not sure how many this means, like, until they're dead? Nah, single single shot. You're good. She's really good. And she got him. He's bleeding. Wilson's gonna finish him off. Yeah! <laughs> Maraud this. Ow! Ooh, counter. Nice. Block. Barbara. Ooh, no. Barbara's bleeding. All right, we gotta take care of this, but uh, I'm gonna shoot him first. Single shot. Bang! Nice one. Somebody finish him off, would you? Shoot him. Shoot him dead, Barb. Gunslinger achievement got. I mean, Diane. That was Diane, my bad. Barbara got hacked with a hatchet, but I think she'll be okay. But look at all the goodies these fools had. <laughs> got their axes. One of them had a prosthetic arm and wood. Oh well, last time you're gonna have any wood, my friend. Trauma. Oh, Barb's down in half. Eee, ay, ay. Probably makes sense to heal her while they're in combat. Uh, examine the items, yeah. Because I don't think we can heal outside of combat. Oh, look at all the wires and the rubber. This is great. 42 of 52. You know what I'm saying? It would make sense right now if I could just say, hey, heal yourself up. But now we're going to have to do it in combat. So our first encounter with the Marauders faction ended in bloodshed. They had to die so that we could live, as Rick Grimes of The Walking Dead might say about his family. So it's all good, girls. Hopefully they don't run into any more marauders, uh, or at least any bigger groups, because they're, they're kind of tough. And I don't think they would like to negotiate. <laughs> I think they just want to kill and eat you. So we have so many wires now and stuff. I think we are, are good if we just go ahead and put another light switch over here dad can you do that right in the bathroom so we can see where the heck we're going I'm tired of mopping up the uh, pee and poop all over the floor like the dog does <laughs> mom's helping eric train over here. oh uh, why are you punching mom uh not a good place to stand maybe she's holding the bag hey who's this two people guy without a shirt jason and betty just passing by all right good keep walking Keep walking. So here's the, the car. Camper van. We're almost out of Marauder territory. Oh my gosh. Attackers incoming. Prepare yourselves. Whoa. It's our first raid, guys. It's one, one attacker. Really? Well then. He's in for a surprise. All right. I don't know what we do here. I'm pretty sure we have to, first of all, arm the traps. Everybody stop. Arm the trap. No, no. Somebody arm the trap. Somebody right next to it arm it. It's the shotgun. Um, arm this one. Chris, if you'd be so kind. And where's, where, where's Sarah? Sarah, arm the paint can trap. He's, here he comes. He's got to get through the doors first. It won't take me long to break this down, you know. Michael. <laughs> Michael, you're a fool. Okay, let's get some people hidden. Sarah, hide. Chris, hide. Mom, hide. We've got all three hiding spots up here. Pretty close to the ladder so they because it takes them a second to get hidden and oh this is disarm oh no oh no we don't have any ammo for the shotgun we took all the ammo on the uh on the road well that was dumb i thought maybe there would be ammo in the thing already oh here he comes first door down where's dad dad get up here oh you're there okay get ready boys get behind the traps please eric <laughs> hold on girls can you call back later Oh, uh, it's Diane, the small petrol station. Yeah, check it out. 
We have uh, we have some urgent business here, Diane. Please don't call right now. So we just wait for this fool to get through, huh? Oh, man. I thought maybe the shotgun shells would be in the shotgun itself, and then you just have to arm it, but that's not the case. But I'm really curious to see what happens here. Hurry up, Michael. This is going to be awesome. Oh, man. Diane, what did I just tell you? Oh, it's Barb. Yeah, yeah. Take it all. Take it all. Get everything. Keep going. We've been working out, Michael. We're faster. We're stronger. And Dad, are you kidding me? He just, oh, we got whacked. Oh, man, he's hurting. He's, what? Where are you going? Let's fight. Where is he going? Can I kill him? Eric, stop him. Dad's curled up in a ball. He's such a chicken. He's stealing food from our pantry. Oh. Half our food? I didn't know if I would be eating today, but... It, uh, get him! How do I attack him? Get that guy. Thank you. Ooh, he just stabbed me? Eric, the guy's practically dead. One shot. Don't subdue him. He's trying to steal our food. There we go. That's what you get. Breaking and entering. A man's home. We can kill you. I think that's the law. <laughs> Self-defense. Nice. Now, how come... Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have a corpse. He looks just like Eric. It's Eric's long-lost twin. 20 trauma? Did everybody just witness that whole thing? Oh, that's horrible. Girls, really? Come on. Their doors just got kicked in. Stumbled across the pet. Yeah, go. It's all petrol stations. All right, Eric. Uh, fix those doors. Dad, you get the other one. Quick. Fix the two doors. I don't know what it takes. Oh, I guess it doesn't take materials. You just have to go over there and fix it. And what are we going to do with this bloody corpse over here? It stinks. Barbara to base. We found someone in the small petrol station. They're signaling to... Oh, no. All right, we'll come back to the shelter in a second. Let's see what's going on here. Wow, suddenly it's like chaos. Dan Hut. So we got some kind of National Guardsmen or military guys here. Daniel with the board, and this guy over here doesn't have any weapons. But uh, clearly they are AWOL, um, and they're not taking any orders from us, that's for sure. Anyway, yeah, Ten Hut. Wow, organized military. Didn't expect to find this out here. Or maybe they're good guys. You're barely worth the effort, but it's a nice change to beat on someone that doesn't put up a fight. Aw. Really? Is that what you think? You look tough, but I've seen enough out here to know when it's all a front. <laughs> we can fight or we can walk. If we walk, they can get free hits on us. There's only one guy with a weapon. We're taking him down. We can't leave these people. Retreat! I knew it! Look at those cowards run! That's awesome! They took off. All right, Eric, get in. Dad, get in. Close the doors. Shut off the alarms. Please stop. Thank you. Dad, bury that corpse. Eric's traumatized. He can't handle it. Poor guy. We really need that statue, and we need that... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. He should have put a suit on. He's going to get sick. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Dad. My bad, I told him to do it. Put him in that grave and get back in here quick. Alright, come on back in here, Daddy-o. You done good. Alright, everybody's out of their hiding spots. That's cool. So, hey, we were attacked. That was fun. Although, we gotta make sure we have ammunition. So we can load up our, our shotgun trap. That guy would have been killed. Wait a minute, how did he get away with our food? We killed him! We killed the guy and he still got away with the food. We can't just pick it up off the ground? Did he eat it all that quickly? So he ate, like, 20 pieces of food. All right, I don't like that at all. So now we have to go to this. Now we have to go to some houses and get some chow. What's this? A hatch. Oh, no. All right, let's check it out, I guess. Another shelter out here. Mystery hatch. 